This is the USB relay that connects to the MX2. Here you can see I've taken an audio cable and stripped apart the two conductors and connected them across the normally open connections on the relay. It's just a regular audio cable. I got it Radio Shack. And an adapter down to the small audio connector that goes into the external two of the MX2. Okay, I've connected my USB relay to this Windows 7 computer, but I need to find out which COM port it's connected to. So I've opened the control panel and I'm going to select the device manager. If I look at the ports, COM and LPT, and expand it, here's a USB serial port, COM4. I'm going to check this one and look at the properties. And you can see the manufacturer is FTDI. So that's the uh, COM port for the USB relay. So when I run GB time lapse, I'm going to tell it to use COM4 to connect to the USB relay. I'm going to use GB time lapse with the MX2 Dolly for a sunset time lapse tonight using my Canon 7D and auto ramp to auto ramp during the uh, sunset. So to set up the MX2 Dolly, first I go to Tools and Options and check the box Show MX2 Dolly Interface. I'll click OK. Now I'll open the Tools and Options again. Now that this is checked, I can see this tab for the MX2 Dolly. First of all, I want to enable MX2 Dolly Control and that enables these other parameters. I have to set the USB Relay COM port to COM4 on this computer because that's where the USB Relay is connected. Set it to COM4. And I'm going to send it a pulse, a 100 millisecond pulse, just to test it. And it worked. It moved the MX2 one step. Okay, so that's all I need to set up this connection. From now on, whenever I use this computer, I don't have to do this again. The MX2 Dolly Control is enabled. Now when I go back to the main screen, there's a new tab here on the camera settings for the MX2 Dolly. And I have it checked to do dolly stepping during time lapse. And here it's summarizing the program parameters. And here it's summarizing the dolly parameters. So I'm going to do a sunset. So I'm going to go to project settings on the program and say I want to start at a relative time. I'm going to start here 20 minutes before sunset and I'm going to end at a relative time of two hours after sunset. So down here with those settings it says the steps will be 1684 steps at a five second time lapse interval or 385 steps using auto ramping from 12 to 34 second time lapse interval. If I go to my auto ramp, see I would check the ramp the interval from 12 to 34 seconds from daylight to night. If I change this like to 10 seconds during daylight, see it'll be 423 steps. I'm going to go up to 30 seconds of, time, of bulb exposure, so I'm going to set the maximum nighttime time lapse interval to 34 seconds to give a few extra seconds for uh, data storage. If I go back to the program. I want about 480 steps, so I'm going to extend this time a little bit here. 30 minutes before sunrise to 2 hours after sunrise gives us 483 steps in the time lapse. So if I go to the MX2 Dolly, see it says 483 steps auto ramping from 10 to 34 seconds. So I'm going to set the step count limit. Oops, that copied that tried to copy 483 steps into the step count limit. But at this step distance, that exceeded a maximum travel limit of 15 inches. I'm going to set this up to the maximum possible, which is 56 inches on a 6-foot rail. I'll set the step count limit again. There, we're going to go for 483 steps. I'll just make that 480 even. <coughs> and at a step distance of a tenth, it'll move 48 inches, which is less than the travel limit for this for this unit. 
So now when I do my time lapse later tonight, uh, the dolly will move over that period of time from before sunset to after sunset, 480 steps, and it will stop when it hits the step count limit so I don't go too far. So I'm going to save this project. And I'll say 7D Sunset. So I don't have to go through this again. I can just load that project on my computer when I'm ready to uh, do the time lapse. I still need to make some manual settings on the MX2 itself. Go to the MX2 menu and select Camera. Set the max shots to 1. Go down to Settings. Set motor display to inches per minute. Set the motor S1 mod to interleave. Go down to IO2, which is the connector for the relay, and set it to toggle. When the relay activates, it'll move the MX2 one step. Here I'll set the uh, step distance to a tenth of an inch.